So, sitting right here is 45,000 pesos. That's about $2,500. And that is what will pay for the surgery I just got. That's amazing. Because that's, if you convert it from pesos to dollars, it's about $2,500. And that was a team of uh, five people in the room that pays the, the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, people doing things, oh, heart guy, uh, vital signs, whatever, I don't know. And then two nurses as well. So it's a team of seven in an operating room uh, fixing the biggest bones in the human body that are broken, smashed in two places each. That kind of a surgery would cost over $100,000 in the States, although it's hard to compare exactly because I have other costs. Like I paid for some drugs and I'm paying for blood work separately. Um, but that $2,500, this 45,000 pesos, includes uh, this last night's stay in the hospital and the previous night's stay and the previous night's stay and the previous night's stay. So multiple nights in the hospital. The other place I went to was going to charge me a lot more. So I'm happy I got out of there. Also, they figured out that they were not capable of doing the surgery very well. In retrospect, I would not have gone to the other one. I would have gone straight to a place that can do the job. And for most people in, in the, you know, foreigners and stuff, they would just want to go to a place that can solve the problem because it took two days before I got operated on. And that's really unsafe. Um, I could have died. And so that's because that's where the ambulance took me and I just wasn't prepared for this. I have to be prepared for this kind of thing to help other people that come to the Bosque because I need to solve their problems in the best way. My problem was not solved in the best way. Also, not having any cash is a very terrible idea. All of this money is lent to me by friends, local friends who have it in cash because they don't even have bank accounts. And uh, it, was, it was lent because uh, they want to save my life. They're treating me like family. And that, that means so much to me. And then I'm going to pay them back with people donating. So all this means so much to me. It's insane. I mean, people are saving my life literally. And, and this just tells me i got to get my shit together. i got to do a better job. And uh, anyway, it's a complicated situation. Next, I'm going to be negotiating to be able to stay in the hospital longer because I am totally non-functional. Uh, I cannot do anything for myself. And I'm trying to as much as I can. But... Uh, it's a very, very difficult situation. So that tells you a little about, a bit about where I'm at and the strange financial things uh, about this. I will also mention, this is why I don't have insurance to pay for this. If I had the insurance I would have gotten, right, the insurance that's been on my list to get for years, they would have been a bad place to go for this kind of injury. So it would have been a bad choice. Also, they wouldn't cover it, most of it. So in other words, it wouldn't have covered me for this kind of thing. So there really wasn't a good option other than expensive insurance. And if you add up my last 19 years without having any insurance of any kind, none, then I'm actually saving money by doing what I did, except I should have, of course, saved the money and been able to pay for it myself. That's a whole other problem where I've been losing money for 19 years and paying for these idealistic visions I have. Luckily, a lot of people either like me or like those visions and are going to help me keep doing what I'm doing. But I'm going to change how I'm doing it because it's not good to do things in a non-profitable way. And this has almost killed me. What I've done has almost killed me. Well, that's my fault. I take responsibility for that. I became a beggar by asking for money. And luckily, people have enough faith in me that they've, uh, they've helped. Thank you.